Okay, so, um, well, I have these, and essentially you may think, um, why do you have two pairs of essentially the same headphones, um, same in-ears, if you're a small channel and you don't get many views? And to that I say I did not buy them to the channels, I actually have use for them, which is very real. So, just to clarify that I'm not that stupid, I have some use for them, which the main use, these ones are the cheap ones, that cost less than 20 bucks. They're the amateurs. And these, um, well, because they're so cheap, um, and because their cable also has a beautiful little uh, microphone, not that you can get the expensive one without the microphone, but still, um, I did buy them with the microphone. I use these for travel, I always just have them in my backpack, like if I forget my AirPods or something like that, I just have these on um, to replace them, and because of the microphone it's very easy, and you can just forget about that, like you don't, if you forget your AirPods at home, you can just have these, they're 20 bucks, it's very cheap, very, no reason not to use them. And then I have these, now the reason why I bought these, is because I was hoping to get maybe a better experience than these, maybe to get better um, clarity or something. I don't know what I, I expected too much, but I thought these would be better than these. And the reason why I bought these is because these always exist in my backpack and I don't want to take them out because, well, they exist for emergency, basically. And at home, unfortunately, the only headset that I have is the Philips SHP 9500, I think that's the name. Yeah, so I only have that, and these are open bags, which unfortunately, for me who lives in a very, I would say, somewhat active street, um, we get a lot of car noises running around and whatever, and whenever I'm trying to edit videos and trying to, like, hear the small little details of again, car running around and my family screaming in the background. And most of the time, I'm not um, able to distinguish between those sounds like coming from real time or those sounds from the recording. And that's why I have these guys to noise isolate and to give me like the non-open back experience so that I can listen to the smaller sounds much better because I don't have a proper quiet room to listen to good audio. So let's talk about the difference and I've been testing these for, I've had these for like the past year now and I got this like two weeks ago probably and I've been testing them a lot and I mean a lot over like the, the last week or so and I genuinely, it's like every time I listen to this I'm like oh these sound so much good, they sound so good but then these <laughs> They sound the same, and, and I don't know why, but they sound the same, and, it, and it's like... Because the main difference, except for the fact that I think this is quite an, under, an older model, so these have like basically the same drive, just slightly enhanced. They also have the difference of um, free extra drive in the e each ear, which, I mean, the design is fucking amazing, like, fucking hell, this is... This is an amazing design, like just for like the, the polished, I think it's aluminum, the polished aluminum and definitely the much more chunky feel, it definitely feels more expensive, but in terms of audio quality, I genuinely cannot tell the difference that much. You can also notice that I have exchanged the ear tips and uh, to a more silicon because I needed a better seal, especially for this, because again, I use them on the road most of the time, so a better seal is much better. Um, just for like the experience, yeah, <laughs> I mean not much else to say about that, so yeah, um, and I did test them with both the the regular ones, like the ones that you get out of the box, the silicone tips, and because these are two sizes, as you can see, I have medium and small, I did test them with both just to make sure that there is no sound difference, because I did notice that there was some difference between the two, so with these ones, because of the bigger tips, I noticed that the bass is trapped much better, so you can hear it. But then again, it works literally the same with it, if you put the bigger one, just because they have, again, a better seal, 
but this, the tiny one, like the small one, are just more comfortable over time. And these are like for, again, mainly as isolation. So I, I can take that slight bit of incomfort um, for more isolation on the road with like, uh, like in buses and whatever. A lot of background noise can happen. So yeah. Um, so genuinely, like, if you look at the graphs of this, you can see that it's a very V-shaped, like very, a lot of, a lot of lows, a lot of highs, some, um, mid, like very kind of flat mid, and they both have essentially the, the same, like, sound profile, so again, I don't know why I expected that much of a difference, but I did, and you may think, well, if you use these for more critical work, like your videos, wouldn't you want your reference headphones, because they may Again, my Philips are pretty damn good, surprisingly, for the price. Um, so wouldn't you want to use those, even though you can't hear the more minor sound? And I would say yes, maybe. But, like, the sound is so fucking clear. And that's, like, that's the reason why you buy these guys. It's not necessarily because they give the better experience or the most natural sound. But because, like, every type of things that you throw at them, every type of music or, or movie or TV show or whatever that you throw at these guys, they will be able to just kind of get as clear as an experience almost as you can get from such a, like literally cheap plastic made head headphones. And it's genuinely amazing. Like every time I like, cause these feel like the, you pay like you get what you pay for, but this one feels like, oh, this is very cheap. But then you put them on and you're like, oh, they sound literally the same, <laughs> like almost the same, but gives the, the same experience, even though they feel so much cheaper. And I mean, technically they are, they're like half the price. Um, so yeah, like if you really want, you can buy these guys. It's just, I don't see the reason to buy them over these guys. And if you do want the more better construction there is the zx so essentially the the x pro are basically the same driver as these only with this construction as this and for like not that much more so i would definitely like if you want the better construction and you don't want the cheap plasticky one um then definitely go for those but if you want the just as cheap as you can get for such a good audio solution for such clear audio these are, are the way like there is no no question about it another thing that i wanted to brought up because i found it very weird and if any of you guys in uh who for some reason um you're watching the video and you understand audio much better than me then please help me because plugging this in they have such low impedance that plugging them into let's say a mini pc a laptop a tablet or, an, or a smartphone is completely fine but at the moment that you plug them to something like the nintendo switch or the a big boy pc um you get a lot of static noise like white static noise which from what i understood online is essentially just the product providing so much power that it's unneeded to drive these things um, so essentially you just hear the static noise of that. And for that, I did buy an impedance adapter to try to drive up the impedance more. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as well as I expected. Like on my big boy headphones, these definitely do the job. Like these definitely like, it's not that the product is not working. It does, it does extra impedance. It does make it harder to drive. But for some reason on this one, again, I guess the sensitivity is just that low that it doesn't really affect them. And another weird thing I found, even though these are rated for 16 ohms and these are rated for 32 or 26 ohms, these, like, I need much more power. I need, like, double the power to drive these, which, again, is very weird. So if any of you guys in the comments do know what any of that is about, please let me know. But with that, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time. Till then, bye.